Hello, this is Sims Art, an illustrator and comic book artist. Today, I'm going to show you some of my favorite features included in Clip Studio Paint 3.0. In the new Clip Studio Paint update, there's plenty of new features. They added filters, new palettes, text features, 3D, animation-oriented features, and more. Today, I'm going to focus on some of my personal favorites. We'll see some of the chromatic aberration filter, the film camera filter, the noise filter, and the layer comps feature. Chromatic aberration filter. I always loved some good filters that give a more analogic feel to my illustrations. Blur and grain, for example. The chromatic aberration does something similar, removes a bit of that sense of clean digital look in favor of that retro feel. Chromatic aberration is commonly found in photography, when the light gets dispersed once it goes through the lens of the camera. Applying a bit of chromatic aberration will add this effect on the outer edges of our canvas, donating that lifelike feeling to our artwork. Film camera filter. Similarly to the chromatic aberration, the film camera filter helps to add a photographic look to our illustration. This filter actually includes the chromatic aberration filter, but that's not all. With the slider, it's possible to add green, and from a menu, it's possible to quickly give our picture a sepia tone or add a light leak, for example. Noise filter. This filter was very much needed, and although it is present in the film camera filter I just showed, it's great to be able to recall this filter standalone. In the menu, we can also select two color modes, color and gray, making the noise mono or colored. This is a great tool that was missing in my opinion and will help any artist to quickly add random noise to their craft. The last feature I liked particularly from this update is the layer comps one. With this feature we can quickly save states of our current layers that we can quickly recall anytime we need. For example, we can have a state where only a sketch layer are visible and another one where the colored version is visible. This can be used in very powerful ways to work quicker on on complex projects with dozens of layers. This feature is only available on the EX version of Clip Studio Paint 3.0. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the official Clip Studio Paint channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, you can find more about my work on Instagram, Twitter and YouTube. See you next time. Clip Studio Paint